Tacoma Police present their crime prevention plan. How you can help during street flooding season and holiday lights shine on in the city. These stories and more on Tacoma Report. Hi, I'm Angie Foster. Laura Proctor is on assignment. Tacoma Police Chief Avery Moore and the consultants from the University of Texas at San Antonio presented an overview of the Violent Crime Reduction Plan's three phases. Phase one outcomes from the first 90 days of implementation and a discussion about ongoing efforts. Between July 6th and October 5th, crime fell in every sector of the city at the treated addresses in their surrounding catchment areas and in all other areas of the sectors. The next steps will include a second hotspot period. For more information about the Violent Crime Reduction Plan, visit the City of Tacoma webpage or to watch the presentation, go to TV Tacoma's website for meeting coverage. Neighborhood and Community Services Homeless Services Team presented its comprehensive homelessness strategy. This strategy recognizes that ending homelessness in Tacoma will require short-term and long-range efforts built on public-private partnerships to address immediate needs like shelter. The strategy also addresses housing affordability in our community. In the proposed 2023-2024 biennium budget, a requested allocation of approximately $34.1 million for homelessness services and programs is included. Learn more about the city's work to address homelessness at the city's website. What happens when Joint Base Lewis McCord and Tacoma Power partner on a project? If this recent check presentation event is any indication, it signals a successful and very bright future. Big results and a big check. That's what Tacoma Public Utilities presented October 18th to its partners at Joint Base Lewis McCord. A $2.1 million big check that represents the incentives paid for through the energy efficient improvements the base has made since 2017. The partnership between JBLM and Tacoma Power stretches back decades and includes a variety of energy efficient projects that include lighting, retrofits, HVAC improvements, compressed air system upgrades, and standby generator block heater retrofits. Nearly all energy savings achieved at JBLM have come from lighting retrofits from the installation of over 100,000 LEDs and 4,000 street and parking lot lights that have been replaced in the last five years. I want to just touch on some of the benefits of LED lighting. The electrical energy saved since 2017 exceeds 15.8 million kilowatt hours, which is equivalent to the yearly energy consumed by nearly 1,350 homes. Tacoma Power is proud of our partnership and amazing accomplishments that serves an inspiration to other large employers in our service area. Substantial maintenance savings, labor and cost, because LED fixtures have longer lifespans, reduction in use of hazardous materials as fluorescent bulbs are phased out, LEDs and controls, enhanced safety and security for exterior areas and interior spaces. To learn more about the ways your business can save energy, visit mytpu.org forward slash biz rebates. Reporting for Tacoma Report, I'm Mike Ziak. This year the weather changed rapidly. Cold can be dangerous and older adults, people with health concerns, and children are at greater risk. Don't leave children, dependent adults, or pets in parked vehicles. Infants less than one years old should never sleep in a cold room because they lose body heat more easily than adults. Body temperatures can quickly drop to a level that can result in death. Things to do to stay warm and safe during winter inclement weather include heat and light your home safely, use generators and other appliances properly, conserve heat, make sure babies and older adults stay warm, and keep a water supply. For more information about the city's inclement weather resources, visit the webpage. Coming up, we'll be getting the word out on power outages. We'll be right back. Fall arrived and that means power outages become more likely. 
Although Tacoma Power has a very reliable system, it's a good idea to prepare for an outage. Start by connecting to Tacoma Power's outage portal. Next, if your power is out, report it. Tacoma Power isn't always aware your power is out. The portal lets you report a power outage online or via text and you can choose to receive updates about Tacoma Power restoration via text or email. Register at Tacoma Power's outage portal to be better prepared. If you're not registered, you can also report outages by calling 253-502-8602. Ready or not, winter weather is here. When major rainfall occurs, the city storm water system can get overwhelmed, causing some city streets and low-lying areas to flood. To help prevent street flooding, the city works to prepare streets for the rainy season with the Street Sweeping Program. Residents can also help prevent street flooding in their neighborhood by safely clearing leaves and debris from storm drains. The city also provides free sandbag supplies to the public for personal use. For more information on street flooding preparedness and sandbag locations, visit the Inclement Weather page on the city's website. As holiday shoppers gear up for just the right gift, the Tacoma Police Department has a few tips for your shopping safety. Thieves look through windows of parked cars to see what people have left behind. Avoid leaving gifts and other merchandise in clear view. It takes only seconds for a criminal to break a car window. Take items with you or move items to your trunk before entering a parking lot. And avoid dropping off purchases in your trunk without reparking or finishing your shopping for the day. When you leave your car, leave it empty. Up next, students experience what it's like to be on the other side of the gavel. Nearly 60 high schoolers participated in Student Government Day this year. Students met with the mayor, Tacoma City Council members, City of Tacoma executives and staff to discuss key issues and gain first-hand knowledge of the city's role in the community. Students also got to tour a city department, the Center for Urban Waters, and the Tacoma Police Department headquarters, and they played the role of mayor, Tacoma City Council, and representatives of community organizations in a simulated city council meeting. Join Tacoma City Theaters along with Tacoma venues and events for the 77th annual Tacoma Holiday Tree Lighting event. Before the official tree lighting countdown, attendees will enjoy complimentary hot drinks, cookies, photos with Santa and Mrs. Claus, a performance by Tacoma Opera, and more. Gather outside the Pantages Theater and usher in the holiday season on Sunday, November 27th at 4 p.m. For more information, visit Tacoma Venues and Events website. The lights are on. Zoo lights at the Point Defiant Zoo and Aquarium starting November 25th. PDZA transforms into a colorful winter wonderland every night at 4.30 p.m. This classic holiday tradition features over 800,000 LED lights, including a giant Pacific octopus, the iconic Seahawks tree, and a walk through tunnels of stunning lights. Zoo Lights runs November 25th through January 2nd. You can get your timed online tickets at the Point Defiance website, pdza.org. Tis the season for green and red, and in this case, poinsettias. Metro Parks Tacoma greenhouses traditionally grow poinsettias for displays at the W.W. Seymour Conservatory. Beginning December 3rd through January 8th, floating poinsettia baskets, a tree of poinsettias, twinkling lights, and nine wondrous colors of poinsettias will bring you moments of joy that you can carry with you through the season. For more information on the conservatory, check out their website. That wraps up this edition of Tacoma Report. A great way to find out about the services the City of Tacoma has to offer is by going to cityoftacoma.org. We leave you with more brilliant red and green holiday color. I'm Angie Foster. Have a happy Thanksgiving.